see off of fossil fuels off our backs and begin to look at climate change as a real issue and look at climate change and the mitigation that needs to be done for the future as a real issue. Uh, a record on protecting the very fundamental human right of women to make control their own reproductive decisions, the, the fight to guarantee equal pay for equal work. Uh, is uh, we need to join the, the rest of the uh, modern world with paid uh, family and medical leave for people that work hard every day. It goes without saying that her position on comprehensive immigration reform is rational. And, uh, it goes without saying that her position on comprehensive immigration reform is above all, above all, uh, takes into account the humanity that we're dealing with and just doesn't move numbers around it. And, I, and, and advocacy for a rational, lasting fix to a broken system, uh, our broken immigration system is very badly needed in Congress. That kind of a rational voice is needed, and uh, that's why I'm here for Victoria. The other issue is uh, education as a whole. And, and, and getting this economy where it should be. Now, you know, I, I think what, and, and Victoria and I agree on this, the template that Barack Obama laid out for the American people is a good, solid template mm -hmm. about accessibility to health care. We need to grow on that to make it stronger. Mm -hmm. About beginning to create the kind of employment opportunities in this country that are needed to, to keep us, get us completely out of this effects of the recession but also begin to turn the corner on a new economy that's going to provide the kind of jobs for the future that our country needs and, and the generations to come are going to need. And so we need to create better, lasting jobs uh, to deal with our crumbling infrastructure, uh, to deal with our, the health needs of American, uh, American uh, citizens and people that, that live in this country, and education, to reinvest for the American people their education system. 150 years ago when the public school system was built, it was a great idea. Somebody said, why should one or two percent of the American people, because they have money and access, be the only ones to educate their children? Working people and people aspiring to be in the middle class should have an opportunity to educate their 